Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's ICU, and today I have some absolutely astonishing news in the world of jailbreaking to share with you guys pertaining to iOS 13, A12, and A13 devices. So yes, those of you who are waiting on newer devices for a jailbreak, this one's for you. I wasn't originally planning on making this video until later, just because I am currently on a leave of sorts, but the news is simply too big to not share it. I will release a more dedicated video probably at a later point, so just be sure to click that subscribe button if you have yet to. And with that said, we're just going to delve straight into the news. So security researcher Brandon Azad tweeted out the following, quote, if you're interested in bootstrapping iOS kernel security research on A13, keep an iPhone 11 on iOS 13.3. I will be releasing a proof of concept exploit that provides kernel read write on iPhone 12 comma 3 17 C 54, which is essentially the identity identifier for the iPhone 11 on iOS 13.3. And this undoubtedly has to do with not one, but seven kernel vulnerabilities that were closed by Apple in iOS 13.3.1, thus revealing their hand to the entire world and exposing the seven kernel vulnerabilities that are present in 13.3 and lower. Now, having said all of this, I do not recommend updating to iOS 13.3 if you're on a lower firmware. I cannot stress that enough. And obviously this almost goes without saying, but if you are on iOS 13.3.1, definitely downgrade. I will include a link to my downgrade tutorial for iOS 13 down below in the description. Be sure to look at that. It is going to be for earlier versions of iOS 13. However, it will still apply for iOS 13.3.1. The steps are exactly the same. So do not update Stay as low as you possibly can. Downgrade to 13.3 if you're on 13.3.1. And uh, yeah, guys, this is amazing. Essentially, what this means is that we could get a jailbreak for brand new devices sooner than any of us even thought possible. This is just completely awesome stuff. And Pwn to Own even chimed in, which we will expound on at a later point, saying essentially that he thinks his PAC list techniques should still work on iOS 13 and A13, but that he basically needs an A13 device for testing. He doesn't currently have one. And also, of course, saying, quote, no ETA for now when somebody asked him if this means there's going to be a jailbreak soon. Obviously, jailbreak developers tend to never really give ETAs for good reason. So that's everything that I want to share with you guys in today's video. Super, super exciting stuff. Let me know down below in the comment section what you're most looking forward to doing once you get your device jailbroken. And obviously, also how long you've been waiting for this jailbreak jailbreak. If you're like me and you have an A13 device, you've been waiting for this jailbreak ever since you got your device. But yeah, as we've been saying for a while now, the future is looking so very bright and this just further proves that. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.